Things on The Ellen DeGeneres Show are usually all fun and games, with most celebrities being pretty relaxed and in a good mood for their interview with the show host. But sometimes things get a little out of hand, whether it was an honest mistake, her guests acting weird, or the show host's cluelessness. Here are 10 of the most embarrassing moments on Ellen. Thanks to her music, Taylor Swift's love life has been a huge interest to the media, but that doesn't mean she shouldn't be able to set some boundaries. However, Ellen is well known for putting her guests on the spot, and she has grilled Swift about her dating history countless times over the years. When Swift and actor Zac Efron appeared on The Ellen Show together in 2012, for example, the host kept trying to make them confess that they were dating. Instead, the two performed a song together, singing about appearing on the show and how weird it was every time thanks to Ellen. While while this was all in good fun, things turned really uncomfortable when Swift came back alone a few months later. Ellen was relentless in asking the singer about her past boyfriends, even turning it into a game. While her guest sounded like she was on the verge of tears and eventually cracked, she demanded that the show host stop, telling Ellen how bad she was making her feel about herself and how it made her really question what she stood for as a human being. While most people probably felt really uncomfortable at this point, Ellen apparently still didn't get it and actually laughed after her guest had just told her how bad she had made her feel about herself. You, there's never been two guys on the screen two visits in a row. It's sad. <laughs> <laughs> More than a decade ago, animal expert Jeff Corwin appeared on Ellen's show and brought out an anaconda that he and the host tried to hold together. However, the anaconda apparently took quite a liking to Ellen as it soon started wrapping itself around Ellen's pelvis. And if that wasn't awkward enough, the camera actually zoomed in on it. Ellen laughed about it though and after she had been freed, Corwin reassuringly told her that it was a female snake at least. He then proceeded to inform the audience that the anaconda weighed about 200 pounds and as he struggled to lift it by himself, he continued to educate Ellen and the audience on anacondas while breathing heavily under the weight of the giant snake. People usually get a little crazy when attending bachelor or bachelorette parties. Only these parties are normally not hosted on national television. When Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth were engaged for the first time back in 2012, the singer appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show and talked about wedding plans, addressing rumors that she was going to have as many as 47 weddings. While Ellen didn't really care how many weddings Miley was going to have, she did want to make sure that the singer got a memorable bachelorette party and invited a couple of male dancers into the studio that day, giving a rather uncomfortable looking Miley a true bachelorette party experience. There are a lot of things that can go wrong on a television set, and in this case it seemed like there wasn't much that went right. During a bonus day of her 12 days of giveaways leading up to Christmas in 2014, Ellen was introducing the gifts her audience would receive that day, and one of them was a $250 dry bar gift card. For those who don't know, dry bar is a blow dry bar specializing in just blowouts, no cuts and no color, and they also offer professional hair care products and styling tools. In order to to demonstrate the products, Ellen had a stylist come and pretend to be doing a woman's hair on the stage. Only when the guy rolled out the woman in a hairdresser's chair, it hit a cable on the floor and got stuck. Ellen and the woman in the chair cracked up with the actress almost spitting out the wine she was drinking, while the guy kept styling her hair. The show host then went to help lift the chair over the cable, which made her and the actress sitting in the chair laugh even more. But when the stylist continued to pretend styling the hair and the wig came off, Ellen could hardly stay on her feet and barely catch her breath. The stylist decided to flee the stage at that point, but when he tried to roll the woman and the chair out again, Ellen told him to leave her there. So he left the stage alone, and while Ellen continued showing the audience what other gifts they would get, the woman was just sitting in her chair with the wig dumped on her head, trying to keep the fake hair out of her face, and it was just hilarious to watch. On one of her shows during season 16, Ellen played a game called What's in Your Wallet, where she steals things out of the audience wallets and she was about to give one of her contestants a jacket from her EV1 line at Walmart. While her excited contestant was shaking because she was so nervous, Ellen pulled out a jacket from under the table that she wanted to give her. She then proceeded to ask the woman if she liked the jacket Ellen was wearing and told everyone to check out how cute the back was, even turning around to let them see it. While preparing to give the contestant the 
the jacket. While the woman was really happy about the gift, Ellen then realized that she actually hadn't changed before the show and was wearing a different jacket now that didn't look anything like the one she had just given to the woman. The jacket she was wearing now didn't even have anything special on the back. So it was pretty hilarious that Ellen had shown off her jacket that looked so different, especially since the woman just played along, smiling politely and checking out the fairly ordinary back of Ellen's jacket with the rest of the audience. In 2008, Ellen and Britney Spears decided to spread a little joy around LA during Christmas time and went caroling. They knocked on people's doors asking to come in to roast chestnuts, giving them Christmas trees or simply singing and dancing in front of their doors. They made a lot of people rather uncomfortable with their strange singing and weird behavior and eventually even dressed up in period costumes to perform Jingle Bells as a rap version. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, hey, hey! With the bells and the jingle and the jingle and the bells. Cause she got the jingle, cause she is the jingle. And we got the jingle, and she got the jingle. And she's there. When Saved by the Bell actor Mario Lopez appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2012, the dreams of millions of fans came true when AC Slater dropped his pants to show his new underwear line rated M. Although he had come to Ellen to promote his new undies, he seemed pretty surprised when the show host not only made him take off his clothes, but even assisted him in doing so. Despite obviously being prepared for a possible ambush by Ellen, Lopez quickly started giggling in embarrassment when everyone in the audience excitedly cheered for him in his tidy whiteies. Celine Dion is usually quite relaxed and in good spirits when she makes the talk show rounds, but when Ellen decided to comment on her son's hair during an interview back in 2007, she went into full mama bear mode. After the show host wondered whether Dion was just too busy to cut her son's hair, the Canadian singer got pretty defensive, asking whether Ellen had a problem with her son's appearance and then going on a rant about people critiquing her and her child. The atmosphere in the studio turned pretty icy and Ellen had obviously hit a nerve Nerve with the singer. Jessica Simpson was once known as a bombshell and sex symbol during her days playing Daisy Duke in the remake of the film The Dukes of Hazard back in 2005. The singer, actress, and reality television star later became kind of a joke when she and now ex-husband Nick Lachey had their own reality show called The Newlyweds, where she came across like she wasn't exactly the brightest in the box. However, while Simpson has done quite a lot since those days, she got married, became a mom, and started her own successful line of clothing for plus size women, she showed that side of her once again when she appeared on The Ellen Show in 2017. Because she had been pregnant the past couple of times she had appeared on the show, Simpson started the interview by making some really awkward remarks about not being pregnant this time, before starting to talk about her current form on birth control, mermaids urinating in her pool, and her relationship with husband Eric Johnson. In January this year, the singer admitted that she was actually drunk during this interview and revealed that she struggled with an alcohol and drug addiction for years. In April last year, comedian Hassan Minaj appeared on The Ellen Show, but things were off to a pretty awkward start when the show host mispronounced his name. Fortunately, Ellen announced him, saying his name as more of a question rather than an introduction, and her guest used this opportunity to set the record straight. He then joked about how people constantly told him they couldn't pronounce his name when they apparently had no problem pronouncing other unusual names, such as Higsby Witherthrottle III or actor Anzel Elgort's name. Minaj Minaj also told Ellen how people had told him to change his name when he first started doing comedy, but he refused to do that because he decided that people would just have to figure out how to pronounce his name. Ellen then revealed that she could actually relate to the struggle, as people used to have problems pronouncing her last name as well, and after the initial awkwardness of the interview, the mood ended up becoming a lot more relaxed. Say it again so that people hear it again. Hassan Minhaj. Hassan Minhaj. Yes, that's it. Hassan? Yes. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.